talk to us a little bit about creativity because um, you know, some would argue that mathematics or science or other things carry more weight than say the arts or other things. Well, now, people do say that, uh, but people say a lot of things that are wrong. <laughs> That's just one of them. That's a, yeah. a great example of the things that people say that are not true. The first thing is that uh, creativity is not confined to the arts. I, I'm always very keen to point this out, that, that, that you can be creative at anything. Technology. Yeah. And anything. Anything. You can be a creative uh, software developer, a creative business person, you can be a creative chef, a creative mathematician. Uh, you can be creative in absolutely anything that involves your intelligence. And creativity, for me, is a function of intelligence. It, it's, there's a very particular definition uh, that I work with for creativity, which is the process of having original ideas mm -hmm. that have value. Uh, to me, it's a very practical process. You see, there are really three key terms in all this. There's imagination, which to me is the, uh, the root of all of this. It, it, and it's the most extraordinary set of powers that people have, the ability to bring into mind things that aren't here, aren't present. Creativity is putting that to work. It's a practical process of putting your imagination to work. It's, it's sometimes been called applied imagination. Mm -hmm. And innovation is really putting original ideas into practice. Well. You know, we, if you look around, I mean, anybody looks around, you know, we're surrounded by the fruits of human creativity. We live in, in buildings, we have urban systems, we have theories, we use languages, we dress in clothes that have been made and designed. We're talking in front of cameras that have been designed and thought through, which are the result of hundreds of years of technological evolution in their various ways. We live in a world that's made from the fruits of human imagination and creativity. It's not an exotic power, we have it. It's no more exotic than languages. But we don't all develop it in the way that we could. And my argument for it is that if we don't recognize and give a proper place to developing the powers of creative thinking and production in our schools, we're denying people access to what is an essential part of their humanity. It's, it's probably the only thing that really sets apart the rest of life on Earth. But for historical reasons, we've developed education systems which suppress these powers and, and have caricatured them. So people think it's all about the arts. Well, I'm a lifelong advocate of the arts and education. I think they're absolutely essential. But not just because they're the creative bit of education. You can be just as creative in physics or chemistry in its own way.